us. Um, a quick question before we uh, go further. Is this something which is within the ambit of Iran's, uh, you know, uh, responsibility towards the IAEA and the civil nuclear deal? Or is this something outside of that? Hello, and thanks for having me. No, it's outside of that. You know, uh, here is a point that uh, the place that there, there was a sabotage after operation, it, it was a workshop or it was to be a workshop to produce uh, a highly advanced uh, centrifuge machines. Uh, they assembled uh, different parts in there. Uh, and after the sabotage attack uh, on that, uh, you know, uh, workshop, uh, Iran decided to build a place that's much more immune to different kinds of animosity and hostile attacks by Americans or the Israelis or both. And therefore, uh, they said that they would go underground to, uh, you know, uh, build a new workshop. But I believe Iran is also sending a, a second message through this move. Uh, to let the uh, the Europeans and, and Americans understand that when they do a hostile move, then it would have repercussions for them, and Iran would go further uh, in order to uh, you know protect uh, its nuclear achievements and nuclear industries. As a matter of fact, if there hadn't been a, this uh, sabotage attack then Tehran would have not gone after building an underground facility to assemble this uh, centrifuge machines or highly advanced centrifuge machines. Uh, uh, this is the result of uh, the U.S. animosity. But also there could be speculations that the attacks, such attacks by the United States and Israel are meant to do so. There are some experts in the West who believe that the U.S. Uh, is attacking Iran, sanctioning Iran, to push Tehran towards uh, further advancement uh, in area of nuclear technology. Tehran has proved to be independent in its decisions.